Every year, a Japanese publishing company called Jiu Kokuminsha announces the most popular neologisms or phrases that best represent the year in which those phrases went viral. This annual award, Shingo Ryukogo Taisho, attracts a lot of mainstream media attention, and the winners for the year 2017 were just announced yesterday, on December 1st. In this episode, I am going to explain the two phrases that came in first place this year. The first phrase is Instabae. The first part of this phrase, Insta, refers to Instagram, the photo sharing application. And the second part, Bae, is short for the verb Haeru, which is used when something looks beautiful in contrast to its surroundings, or when something shines brightly. The whole phrase is therefore used to refer to photos that look good on social media, especially ones that get you a lot of likes. This phrase also implies the sheer amount of thoughts and efforts that people put into producing photos that look good on Instagram. The closest English synonym that I can think of is the adjective photogenic. Let's look at one example using this phrase. Instabaisurukotomachigainashi,キャラベン特集 A special issue on character bento that will look good on Instagram. Kyaraben, by the way, is the type of bento or Japanese lunch boxes where the ingredients are arranged and presented to resemble popular fictional characters. Just like in this example, instabae is usually followed by the verb suru to do, and it is used as a descriptive term. The second phrase that won this year's Shingo Ryukogo Taisho is sontaku. The first kanji, son, means to guess or to infer something that is not explicitly stated, especially other people's feelings and thoughts. The native Japanese reading of this kanji is oshihakaru and hakaru. The phrase oshihakaru is usually written as oshihakaru, and the two word kanji phrase that expresses the same concept is suiryo. The second kanji has a lot of different meanings in pronunciations, but it is usually pronounced do. However, it can also be read as hakaru, just like the first kanji, and when pronounced hakaru, this kanji has exactly the same meaning as the first kanji. So the whole phrase sontaku means to make an inference about other people's thoughts and feelings, or to be considerate of other people's thoughts and feelings. Let's look at one example sentence using this phrase. Having considered the student's wishes and goals, I deliberately recommended this high-ranking university. Now, why did this phrase go viral? Well, in order to explain this, I would be forced to talk about politics, but I'd rather not discuss politics on this channel, so please google it. This is the end of this video. I put the link to the official website of this award down below. On the website, you can find the top 10 words that became popular this year in Japan. And you can also look up the previous winners all the way back to 1984, when this award was established. Don't forget to check out my other videos, and see you next time.